What's up guys and welcome back to Microwave Madness. Today, what we're gonna be microwaving is my car keys. You're probably wondering, why would you want to microwave your car keys? Well, this right here is why I'm microwaving my car keys. As you can see, my car is no longer drivable. That's why I haven't been uploading for a couple of weeks because in between recovering and sorting my insurance out and getting rid of my car and buying a new car, insuring that car, taxing that car, yep. All sorts of stuff, there's a lot of stuff involved in having an accident, especially when it's not your fault. There's loads of stuff to do, so that's exactly why I've been here for a couple of weeks. But we're back now, so we'll be back on it with weekly uploads. So let's get into it and we'll microwave these car keys. We've got, obviously it's plastic, but it has got um, the original key inside of it. So there's a bit of metal, a bit of plastic. We've got all sorts on there. So we're gonna chuck this in, I'm gonna stick it in for like five minutes and I'm gonna let it go all the way to five minutes because I don't need these anymore and I don't wanna see them about house because I've no longer got my car. But yeah, let's put these in. So I'll put them in for five minutes, I'll turn it on its switch outside and we'll see what happens to them. I just want to say, don't try this at home. As you know, I've got um, my fire extinguisher and the fireproof gloves that's going to be outside of me so I can come in and put it out in case all does go wrong. I've set this to five, not five, five minutes. Yeah, five minutes. So I've set that to five minutes. I'll go outside, turn on the switch, and then we'll come back in once it's finished and we'll see what's happened to it. So I'll see you in five minutes. So in three, two, one. So I know I said I'm going to leave it five minutes, but that's loaded pretty quickly. I'll put that out and I'll let this clear for five minutes and I'll be back. Because it's very smoky in here, so five minutes. Right, so I know I said I'm going to leave them in for five minutes, but they didn't last. I don't think they lasted a minute. It just exploded and went everywhere and set on fire. So I left it burning for a little bit. No else really was going to happen after that. So let's get this out and we'll have a look and we'll see what exploded. Oh, it's stuck to me plate. Ouch! Wow, that warm. Can I took. Yeah, it's still warm, so I'll keep these gloves on. That's the case for the key. That's the outside plastic shell. There's no left of it, there's no buttons or all left on it. Let's see if we can get the key out. There's a metal key still in there. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see the metal. So the key is in that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out. Obviously that one metal, so that won't have melted or anything, but no, I can't get that out. There's something else at the back here. So that's the motherboard, I don't really know how that's got out, because it was inside the plastic, and the plastic still seems like it's in one piece. Well, not in one piece, but it's obviously melted, but there's no holes or out, so I don't know how that's come out of the case. But yeah, that's the motherboard. And then this here is what exploded. That is all the pieces of the battery. So that's what exploded. Obviously that were on top. And then that, that's in the middle, I'm guessing. So they, them two pieces were together. That's in the middle, so that's your battery and that's just exploded. There's like black liquidy stuff all over. Some sort of battery acid, I should imagine. But that's what's exploded. And that all went with a bang. Quite a big bang to say it's only that small. But that's that. No else in here. Oh, we've just got the little ring thing that was obviously at the end of the key 
Oh, one of the buttons locked. One of the unlocked buttons. So that's one of the buttons. I don't know where the rest of the buttons are then, if that one survived. The BMW lock button. We found that. That's pretty much intact. Might keep that. I think I've got all the pieces out now. So that is it for the keys. I forgot to unplug that. I forgot to unplug the extractor fan, so if you didn't hear me very clear, I apologise, but I've had two week off, so I'm not really with it. But that's it for keys anyway, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and make sure you comment down below what else you want to see me put in this microwave, and then we'll try and get it in for you. Make sure you subscribe, guys, and I will see you in the next video.